Now to President Trump, he's focused on Capitol Hill, pushing hard to pass his tax bill, prevent a government shutdown. The deadline for a deal is just nine days away, and there you see him posing with empty chairs after Democratic leaders Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi refused to attend a White House meeting following a critical Trump tweet. The GOP will need Democratic votes to keep the government open. The president's tax plan got a big boost yesterday, passing a key Senate committee. Trump will campaign for it in Missouri today, ahead of more votes later this week. I want to bring in our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, for more on this right now. The president seemed pretty optimistic that the tax plan is going to pass with more changes. But let's take a look at yeah. Senate Leader Mitch McConnell. He says it's going to be more complicated. I uh, think I'm sitting there with a Rubik's Cube uh, trying to get to 50. And uh, we do have a few members who have concerns, and we're trying to address them. And we know we would not be able to, to go forward until we get 50 people uh, satisfied. And that's what we're working on. Well, I don't know if you've ever tried to do a Rubik's Cube, George. I've never pulled one off. Not easy to do. That is not a clear vote of confidence from the majority leader there. They've got a long way to go. This vote yesterday was a big boost for Republicans. There are still at least six senators who are on the record having voiced concerns. You know this. The Republicans can only afford to lose two votes here. They've got a lot of wild cards here. White House says they still think they can get this done by Christmas. But as a, in a sign of perhaps uh, how much work they know they still need to do, the president hits the road today. He's going to Missouri. He's really trying trying to still sell this. They have a long way to go. A long way to go, but they do have momentum on that, not yes. so much on avoiding a government shutdown. The gulf now with Democrats wider than ever. Well, I mean, the clock is ticking December 8th. The government runs out of money, and then you've got this stunt yesterday with the president sitting there between two empty chairs. Chuck and Nancy, as he likes to call them, uh, Pelosi and Schumer didn't show up to the White House because they were furious that he taunted them with this tweet. The Republicans need the Democrats. They need their votes in order to pull off to avoid this shutdown. They don't have the votes there. The president was asked yesterday if he believed they could avoid a government shutdown. Uh, did he would he blame the Democrats if in fact there was one? He said, absolutely, I would blame the Democrats. And aid tells us, though, that they're working to really avoid in this. Meantime, we're getting more and more reports out of the White House now that the president is now questioning whether it's his voice on that Access Hollywood tape, also bringing up again this whole issue of whether or not President Obama was born in the United States. Well, there's absolutely no proof that, that this is not the president's voice on this Access Hollywood. He apologized. he apologized for it. Yes, out, outright apologized for it. And now the New York Times is reporting that behind closed doors, the president uh, is, is really back to talking about conspiracy theories. I mean, he was the lead uh, person out front on the birther movement, uh, claiming that President Obama was not born in the United States. He eventually came around to it after a, many, many questions years of questioning uh, by reporters. He, 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 he said that the president was born in the States, but apparently he's talking about this behind closed doors now. Confounding even those who work for him, sort of creating his own reality. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much.